Hello folks, I hope you're doing well. I'm just uh, doing a bit of an interesting stress test since the motion reprojection has now given us a bit more leeway with frame rates, as I'm sure you now know on the channel. <laughs> I've posted a few videos about it now. I'm actually, this is part of my world tour. I'm flying around Seattle. This is a full-on photogrammetry area. It's not just Seattle itself, it's a surrounding area. It's a very heavy, proper, you know, sort of difficult area for your PC to handle. And I've got live weather on, and you can see there's about three or four different layers of cloud, very thick cloud. We've got live traffic on, um, and there's tons of traffic actually everywhere. And we're really low down, and I've got everything on ultra with the Reverb G2, and I'm recording as well, my poor computer. But uh, I just want to show you, I'm using the Windows Mixed Reality Mirror on purpose because that way I'm hoping that uh, if you see any weird artifacts with the prop that will come out with the mirror. So far it looks pretty good actually. And that's because I'm using the always on uh, motion reprojection mode which a few of you have uh, pointed out seems to work better. So that's the settings I've got at the moment in OpenXR with 70% uh, manual resolution. So there's the Space Needle looking absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is so smooth. Now, just to let you know, I've also tried this with my 1080 Ti machine, which is still going strong, bless it. You know, it's, do it's still doing well. And uh, I actually think it benefits that really well because I'm able to up my settings ever so slightly, not that they go too crazy. <laughs> but I'm able to up those settings quite well uh, due to that new mode. This is the kind of flight I would use motion uh, reprojection, definitely. This is exactly the scenario where I'm sightseeing and touring. If I was uh, doing a long haul flight in a CRJ, perhaps, or you know, I probably don't, I, won't, I won't need the asynchronous time warp so much. That is so smooth. So really, I would show you my settings on the screen, but literally, this is a stress test. I've got everything dialed to the max. I'm so tempted to go through that building, through those two buildings there. Should we do it? See if we can make it. so epic. There we go. <laughs> so there we have it guys, you can run on ultra settings with an RTX 3090 10900K machine, running stock by the way, with the latest OpenXR updates. That mean you can go down to 22.5 frames per second. You do get a bit of wavering, you do get a bit of uh, prop artifacting every now and then. But for flights like this, it is absolute bliss. Take care, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.